everybody, Sean Leahy here. Uh, I thought I'd give you guys a quick rundown, a little behind the scenes tour of some of the equipment that I'll be taking with me on my lecture capture series here in Shanghai, China. Um, a lot of times when we get deployed around the world doing um, workshop captures and stuff like that, a lot of people ask me, you know, what is the capture? What kind of equipment do you use when you take it? So I figured I'd give you guys a little behind the scenes tour and kind of run down through all that information. Um, real briefly, when I do a lecture capture, that usually means going out on location, uh, videotaping workshops, um, presentations, PowerPoint slides, all that business, the actual presenter themselves, and putting that together with a bunch of video and uh, still images to create an actual presence from the workshop that is then used to be published to a website or a DVD for our training materials. So if you want to take a little closer look here, I'll go through some of the equipment I'm going to take. Um, typically, I'll travel with a couple, a couple of bags, usually a video camera and still camera, um, a bunch of other little gadgets and doodads along the way. So if you get in here a little bit, I'll show you exactly what I'm going to be taking with me. Alright, well the first set of gear I'm going to show you here is the actual video camera setup. So what we've got here is a hard shell ballistic camera case just to keep uh, all the contents nice and safe and secure through, through travel. Um, I like to carry this in a nice secure case like this. One, it's waterproof, it's pretty shock resistant, um, and if you have to curb check it on an, air, on an airline, uh, it's not that big of a deal. Um, when you open it up, we've got it's, it's custom made for this particular camera setup. Um, in this case, we're using the uh, a Panasonic 3 CCD camera. Uh, this is not an HD camera um, for this particular setup because of the output that's requested. Uh, we don't even need to use an HD camera for that for this for this particular capture. Um, but it is a high quality camera, 3 CCD, it's very handy to use. Uh, it covers a wide range, but yet it's still fairly simple to use. So if more, there's more than one camera person on the job, per se, uh, not a big deal to have someone else run the camera as well. Um, just inside here, got a couple spare batteries. You can never have too many of those, you never know when you're going to run out. Um, I've also got in here some wireless microphone system. Um, don't always need these, but they're, they're always handy to have in a pinch, uh, especially if the audio setup didn't in the given uh, workshop, whatever is less than quality. Uh, these little wireless mics really can save the day on that. Um, so that's pretty much it for the video equipment. Um, you know, a lot of times we, direct, we shoot directly from the camera. We'll record directly to tape. Sometimes we'll record directly from the camera to an external hard drive. And in other cases, we'll even just go from directly from the camera right to the actual laptop or something that's on location. Um, also got a couple of extra cards in here. Um, some tapes and backups, stuff like that, a bunch of connecting cables and stuff like that rest in the bottom of this case. But very handy to have one of these cases. Um, these cases aren't too bad uh, price-wise. You know, you can usually pick these up uh, for a couple hundred bucks. So uh, next we'll, I'll show you some of the camera, the, the still camera equipment. Alright, the next, the next set of equipment I'd like to show you is my still camera gear. Um, I usually carry all this in my trusty Low Pro Fast Pack backpack. Uh, I've gone through about a dozen different kinds of camera and laptop bags, and so far the Low Pro Fastback series, I think this one is the 350 model size, um, has been absolutely fantastic. It's a great backpack, you can use it almost anywhere, goes everywhere, it's light, um, it has a lot of storage in it, and, and so forth. Um, so what it has with it, uh, I'll just show you real quick, it's got a compartment here, it's large enough for a 17 inch laptop, that's where I usually carry my trusty little MacBook Pro. Um, Keep that in there and in the side. Uh, we'll go ahead and just dive right into the guts. It's got, it does have some big area for storage up here where you can put a lot of, you know, extra hard drives, extra camera bodies, your filters, anything like that you want to store in there. Um, under the flap here, this is the main camera compartment. Um, and here I can keep little flash, uh, base accessories, some little, some small soft boxes, stuff like that. Um, but then inside the camera case, where I'm taking with me. Um, this is my field kit, so this is the stuff that I would normally take when I travel or go on location um, to some areas like, for example, in China or Africa, stuff like that, uh, where I'm going to be mobile a lot and not going to have the luxury of having all of my studio-style camera equipment with me. Um, first and foremost, the camera itself. Um, for this case, I'm shooting my trusty Nikon D300, um, and attached to it is my always attached, ready-to-go 18-200 to VR2 lens. Um, Pound for pound and for dollar for dollar, I have to say this is probably the most versatile lens that Nikon makes. Um, it's real crisp, real sharp all the way through the range from 18 millimeters all the way racked out to 200. 
Um, <clears throat> it's real handy because no matter what situation you are in, you have the right focal length with you. Um, whether you need a, a, a wide angle close up for a wide city shot or something like that, you've got it right on your camera at 18 millimeters. You need to get a little, uh, got some distance between you and the subject, you need to zoom in, you can rack it all the way out to 200 and you're still going to get some pretty crisp images. Um, like I said, overall, I don't travel anywhere without this lens. This is the main lens that I always leave attached to my camera when traveling because you're guaranteed to have the right focal length. If you travel with any other lens attached to your camera, chances are as soon as you go to pull that camera out, you're going to have the wrong focal length attached to your camera. Um, but in addition to that, um, I usually take a couple of flashes. Uh, I've got a couple of small units here. I've got a Nikon, an, an SB600 along with an SB800. These usually go with me just in case you need to do a little creative lighting setup uh, along the way. Um, I only carry two additional lenses when I travel on these type of uh, field excursions. One of them is just a simple 50 millimeter prime 1.8. Uh, it's great in low light, it's very light, versatile, and not very expensive. So if, it's, if it gets damaged or destroyed um, you know, in travel, it's not the end of the world. But a great lens to have with you, especially for low light scenarios, inside conference rooms, conference centers, uh, weddings, you never know. Anything like that, low light, this is a good one to have. Um, the other lens that I travel with is another small compact lens. This is the 10.5 millimeter fisheye lens from Nikon. A great little um, accessory lens to have with you in case you're in a situation where you might need to add a unique perspective to something. Um, big cities, big outdoor scenes, uh, cliffs, very unusual settings, low and high. Uh, the fisheye lens is great for that. Um, other than that, I just have a, a bunch of other little accessories that I'll carry in here all the time. Remote shutter release, rocket ball, keep the lens and, and other mounting stuff clean. Um, a TTL cable in case, again, for lighting setups. Um, and that's pretty much about it. Um, in addition to that though, in addition to all the actual camera equipment that I take with me, uh, we also usually take a variety of tripods. Um, probably taking you know, a couple of these Manfrotto tripods. We've got some nice carbon fiber ones that are real, real light, real easy on your back while you're carrying them. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, again, travel light, you know, uh, keep a lot of cards, a lot of spare cards with you. Um, and that's pretty much it.